they were always, always positive. I don't know how they did it. Those people that was working in that room, it's like they were born to do that. The patient experience is the sum of all the things that we do, the impressions, the perspectives, the quality of our care, the way we interact with one another, the things the patients and families see. All of that is embraced in their remembrance of the experience. And that's what we work so hard to do, to bring all those things together so that at the end of it, it's the collective effort of caring that the patient sees and not just one thing. When someone comes to our hospital, we're the first line with the people that we greet them, we help them to get to where they need to be. And it's just, it's great that we can give that service to them instead of just a hospital where you're, everyone's scared when they come in, we just try to comfort them and reassure them that we're here for them. You can build a big, beautiful hospital like we have but you have to put the right people in the right positions for that, and I think we've really accomplished that. I think the patient experience is the totality of every interaction that we have with that patient from the time that they walk in the door until the time that they're discharged. So it includes how we greet them from the valet to the experience at registration, the care that they receive in the unit or the diagnostic area where they're being treated, and ultimately how we prepare them to care for themselves once they go home. It was a patient who was having a procedure back here in Floro, and it was the family member's father. And just the family member seeing that type of compassion that was shown to her father, she said, thank you, we appreciate it. But we said, we do this for all of our patients as if it was one of our family members. Within a week later, they send a card of being a superhero. So I still have that card just to remind me of why I do my job today. The most important thing I can do as a leader to support the patient experience within our organization is to create an environment for our coworkers that is safe, where they have the tools to take care of our patients uh, and their families. They have a great supervisor and a great place to grow their career and develop. Um, if all those things are in place, then our staff will be empowered and engaged in the priorities of the hospital and, and our health system, and we'll do a great job with uh, creating a great patient experience. Well, I mean, it's encouraged here, you know? I mean, the, 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 from the moment we're hired, um, they, they explain to us that they want us to to work well together and you know they explain if you're helping anybody in any way you know if you're on your lunch break and you need to help someone figure out where something is in the hospital and you're 10 minutes late back to the floor we won't say a thing because we want you to help that person so when you have a patient that's particularly ill sometimes it can be difficult to be in the room with patients who have received a diagnosis like that you might want to avoid the room because it's a lot of emotion for you to take on but for me, just being able to be there and sit with them and empathize with them and, and listen. Sometimes it can be hard as a healthcare worker to just stop and listen. And I was able to take that time, listen to how they were feeling, and reassure them that while they were here, they would not be alone. And when I'm asked, why is that at Rex? I have to say, it's, it's really just who we are. It is a thread that is pervasive throughout our organization and every coworker. It's the community. I mean, just the community, the fellowship, everything here at Rex. Um, the patients are amazing. To work with the doctors that we work with, it's great to have them. They're, they're so willing to help us in any way. And then also my coworkers here on the floor, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better group of people. So. What it really is about is having a high level philosophy about who we are as an organization and how we care for patients. We want every employee to embrace the role that they have to make a difference in a patient's experience. In the last decade, medicine has become a team sport and the center of the team is the patient and the family. Our coworkers and care teams collaborate with the patient and their family to make sure they're educated about their illness they have the tools and the knowledge they need once they transition to home that they're able to manage whatever's going on in their lives. It, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel at the end of the day I make a difference. 
I kind of like to think of the hospital kind of like the human body. You need certain things to function with your body. Like your heart does something, your liver does something, your cells do something. Everything has its purpose. Everyone's essential in their job, everyone. It's like pieces of a puzzle. You can't connect the puzzle pieces without, you know, all of them, so. I don't know how they, what the process was to find those people, but I was so impressed about how much they cared about me when I went in there. It was so amazing. It's like, how can somebody be so caring about another human being and they do it every single day? I'm just one patient. They have patients all day long, but they always show special care when I came in.